Hi everyone. So um, on my uh, previous video, I said that I would um, record another one just to uh, explain what's required in terms of the radio software and the WX2 uh, IMG software. Um, the thing is, I'm not going to go through how to do all of this stuff because it's already out there on the internet. You can find it, um, no problem at all. Um, <clears throat> but um, a couple of key things will help you uh, and probably save you time if you decide to have a go at this yourself, particularly, of course, if you're using uh, an SDR Play RSP uh, DX or RSP Duo. And I actually have <coughs> two setups now on two separate laptops so I can continually capture telemetry from NOAA 18 and 19. They work on different satellites. Um, so what I'm going to do is just give you a few pointers for the uh, SDR Uno software that I use and that no doubt some of you would use. Um, and then just a couple of things on uh, WX to IMG software, the actual um, the piece of software that takes the uh, signal, saves it as an audio file and then decodes it to a raw file and then you can do various processing etc to um, uh, to produce you know uh, uh, weather images infrared thermal etc etc um, so uh, this, this video is only going to be of a lot of use to um, those of you using STR Uno um, but some of the information still applies so when you're recording receiving a recording um, telemetry from NOAA satellites you need about 50 kilohertz of audio bandwidth and you can see that I've got that here just over 50 uh, and this is the reason why SDRs work well and traditional receivers generally don't because they don't tend to have uh, audio bandwidth on FM um, uh, at, at those kind of uh, levels so for SDR Uno you want wide FM but 50 kilohertz as I said of audio bandwidth I, on my setup, it works best with the volume turned up, uh, max and the squelch turned down. And essentially what you're trying to do is you're going to take the audio uh, from SDR Uno and pipe it into WX2 uh, IMG. Um, and the way to do that is to go to the receiver control panel, which is here, and click settings and output. And as you can see, the output from my receiver is a VB dash audio virtual. So that's a virtual audio cable. So everything that the receiver is hearing is being piped out of here and into WX to IMG. And the way you find that is to go to recording options uh, and sound card. So once you've got a virtual audio cable installed, um, go to sound card uh, on the uh, recording options and choose the correct cable and then just click OK. There's some other stuff in here, sample bit 16, antenna type. You don't actually need to put any of this stuff in. Um, what's important here is um, that you've got the the software is talking to the um, to the sound card, but in this case, of course, it's a virtual audio cable and then just click OK. Um, once you've done that, what you can do is you can actually, um, if I go to um, record, you can test that the audio is working by auto, by sorry, by by trying a manual test. So click manual test, and if the audio is being piped through correctly, you'll see a green bar in the bottom right hand corner of the dialog window. Um, volume is sixty six point something here, so that's sort of two thirds. Uh, that's about right. As long as you, your your actual volume level will be a bit different, um, but as long as you've got a green bar, if it's in that range, then that means that um, you have adequate audio from your receiver into the software here. So I'm going to click stop, click uh, clear, um, and then file, and then go uh, record, and then click auto record, and the software will now record. Uh, audio from your receiver every time one of the uh, satellites passes. Now, if you want to record audio uh, and uh, decode, uh, you know the telemetry from more than one satellite on more than one occasion during the day. If you're out, then obviously, unless you have cat control, 
you're going to be a bit stuck. So, um, uh, and it doesn't work um, with my receiver. And so I have, because I've got, I've actually got three um, SDR play receivers. I've got the original RSP1A, I've got the RSP Duro and the DX. So I've got the DX and the Duro set up. I built two antennas um, and I've got them running on two, two, two separate computers. So this computer is set to 137.1, which is the frequency for uh, NOAA uh, 19. Um, and every time NOAA 19 passes, I get some good data. Um, I also get some bad data, of course, because the software doesn't know that uh, the, the the receiver is incorrectly tuned when I get a NOAA 18 pass, but that's fine. You just end up with a load of crummy images at which you can um, which you can then delete. So the other thing is that you make sure that when you set up this, there's an option here um, for setting up, oh, it's running now, so it won't click, but there's an option here for setting up your ground station effectively. Um, and you, what you need to do is make sure that you plug in the correct latitude and longitude values for your QTH. Um, otherwise, the satellites will, will be, um, the predicted times for the satellite passes. Um, will be um, incorrect so uh, you need to do that other than that all the other there's options for in terms of in fact if I just stop this actually I'm just show you here so um, ground station location is there but there's all sorts of options if you go to record uh, create you need to make sure that you've got create image I don't do movies but create composite image etc image settings there's a long list of different types of images that that the, that the um, software will um, create from the uh, downloaded uh, telemetry. Um, I've just got almost all of them um, ticked. Um, so yeah, what you so what you so what you have to do is you can um, click auto record, um, and but you can change this. So if you click auto record, then every time a satellite passes, it will generate. All those images, uh, all those different types of images, um, um, it, and it can, there's a lot of them actually. If it, um, so, you might just choose infrared or thermal, etc. But um, once you've clicked auto record, then it just goes into auto mode, um, and it's now waiting for NOAA 15, which is going to pass over here in three hours and five minutes. Simple as that, and that's it. So you can go out for the day, come back, or go to work, come back, and you'll have it you know lots of images collected um because i'm tuned to 137.1 megahertz it'll always be um i'll only get decent images from noah 19 but then I'll, I'll have decent images from my other laptop and my other receiver for noah 18 and it really is as, as simple as that as i said the other settings um really to, to a lot of you you will be sort of intuitive you'll know what to do um but this is how I've got it set up with uh, SDR Uno, and it works really well. I've got to say, um, you don't need an expensive SDR. This, work, this works very well with the um, with the uh, RTL SDR dongles, etc. Um, I just choose to use um, uh, what I consider to be a better SDR receiver. Um, that's just what suits me. So, uh, so yeah. So there you go. Anyway, um, once you've been running it for a while. You'll, you should find that you've got a nice collection of, um, of images. Um, and there you go. And that is some of them. So, uh, um, and this is all using the V-Dipole. So, um, that's a good example. So, um, yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, it's a really nice thing to do, actually. And, of course, it's sort of semi-automatic, um, which is also uh, nice as well. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Anyway, I think that's about it for now. I can't really think of anything else that I need to share with you guys. I mean, those of you that use SDRs will um, will know, you know, roughly how to do this anyway. Um, all the information is on the web for how you, you know, what options to take in uh, WX2, IMG, and settings etc etc but i just thought i'd give you a brief overview it's really straightforward i got this thing working in about 25 minutes the first time i did it so um uh, i'm sure you guys won't have any problem if you decide to do this as well so uh yeah there you go anyway 
Uh, I hope that was interesting or useful. Um, thanks for watching and 73.